All right, here we have a um, straightening of a housing. The, uh, I was building this truck and you know, the, putting all the four link stuff on the housing. It, it bent it. It just turned it just a little bit there on this side. And of course, after going and looking at it with this bar we had uh, built up, it realized the other side had bent as well. But what we have is some pucks that were put down inside in place where the carrier bearings go for the um, differential themselves. And um, these these bearings are machined to the outside dimension of the outer race and then inch and a half on the inside to accept this inch and a half chrome steel rod that's hardened and straight and doesn't deflect. Now we're not using it to pull anything, we're just using it for reference. So we slide it in, one side it goes through the um, those little pucks that are built and, and then torque down in the, the caps for the differential carrier bearings. And then it um, yeah, we use it just to for reference and be able to mic off of. But you can kind of see how crooked it was there to start with. And you'll see here in a moment, we'll, uh, we'll heat this thing up and you'll see it move. And uh, the, the housing will, w w the point of what you do is you heat the side that you, you want it to come to. So you can see there, I need this to come back. So I'm heating the back of the housing. And then you'll watch it move to the front and then come back further to the rear. And it really uh, very time consuming to straighten this housing. It took five hours that day. And um, the, uh, this video, I shortened it down. It was a 51 minute clip. And of course, I shot it with a cell phone oriented a goofy direction. So it's, does, it doesn't lend itself well on, a, on YouTube. But there you can kind of see how far it went forward. And then whenever we stop here, you'll watch it just slowly come right back. And it'll actually end up lining up perfect but it's uh really neat i saw another guy do this and of course i was trying to find another um uh, shop that would straighten his housing after i had welded on it and nobody was willing to straighten it and uh, thankfully i bumped into a guy on youtube showing how to do this and so i just thought i'd show this one too his was a 10 and a half inch 14 bolt out of a uh, um, rock i think it was out of a uh, rock bouncer they were putting a top on it and for the four link and this one doesn't have that crown type setup but the um any of this is 11 half out of a uh, dodge truck all right we're going to transition here into looking at the um some of the pictures now to uh what was going on first one there was the uh locking up all the links getting all the bracketry in place and getting all the uh Different things, just make sure it's all fit. Right here, you'll see after we painted it with the uh, weld through primer so it didn't rust in behind this plate. I had some plates made and to kind of stiffen that area. Um, then you can see where all the bracketry used to be for the leaf springs. And what this was was a short bed mega cab, which is the only way you can get one. And uh, there's the airbags in. And what we did was stretch it roughly 20 inches, and that way it made it. Uh, cab axle dimension the same as a long bed truck but I didn't stretch the back of the frame so it's kind of bobbed and here you're seeing the um, full stuff I guess you'd call it that's sitting on the um, airbags have built-in bump stops and they're four inches that's right height here you're seeing some of the bracketry that we lengthened and stretched and got it all working the way we needed it to and relocated and there's a clip of centering up the axle. And those studs there, you can see them. I, that's a single wheel axle, narrow 10 inches with Mosier shafts in it. And um, put long studs in it so that it held hold these dual wheels that they're a fuel uh, 20 inch dual wheel. that allow you around a 13 and a half, I think, tire side by side with no spacers. Then you can kind of see the cross member being mocked in. A friend of mine cut that out for me on a CNC table. It'll hold a BMW latch box for a GM truck because they're a little skinnier. I needed the room. Now you're starting to see some of the plates being welded on the axle. Four link tabs, the airbag plates, the um, all that good stuff. And here's the upper bag mounts being welded onto that uh, uh, sleeved section. Here's where that tucked in there to the front part of the frame this frame is very modular it goes in different places and here's a rosette weld i tried to rosette weld between the cross where the cross member sits and where the bag mounts are just to give a little extra something there here it is all painted after we got everything welded up in it and that bar run across the front for the upper shock mounts here it is with uh, all the parts assembled <laughs> had it together three or four times but there it is with tires and wheels on it hitch on the back of it just kind of looking it all over and making sure it's all going to work right 
and uh, then here it is with the camper and that was another purse for doing this was the lower so the camper pulled flat so it lowered several inches and here's a couple more shots wrapping up just some of the outside there and just letting it uh getting a, a view of it outside of the shop for a while but anyway hope you enjoy